Gala in a scheduled four round super featherweight bout. This evening, pesando 131 libras at 131 pounds, the Lakeside, California, Edgar Ayala. En la esquina azul con pantalón negro, medallista en la Olimpiada de 1996, invicto en tres peleas profesionales, dos victorias por knockout. In the blue corner, medalist in the 1996 Olympics, undefeated as a professional in three bouts with two of his wins by way of knockout, pesando 133 libras at 133 pounds, the Grand Rapids, Michigan, radicando in Las Vegas, Nevada, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Third man in the ring for this bout, Chuck Haslett. All right, gentlemen, you've had your instructions in the dress room. Any questions? I'm going to repeat, we're working on voice commands, okay? Good luck. Before the fight, I asked Floyd Mayweather, biggest difference between fighting as a professional and amateur, says, hey, man, I'm getting paid now. Indeed, he is. And looking forward to many future paydays. Underway, round one, Floyd Mayweather in the black trunks against Edgar Ayala in the blue. His back to you. Right lead there by Ayala. Comes up, nothing but air. Mayweather starting things off with the left jab there. Ayala responds with the left jab of his own. See the determination in Mayweather's eye. Oh, he snuck in a left, and down goes Ayala. Well, interesting event there because Ayala planned on going to the attack. Actually, had Mayweather retreating, and as he was doing so, Mayweather snuck in a left that caught Ayala flush, and down he went. And now Mayweather going on the attack. Another quick left. Sneaks in another. Ayala retreating. This is a right. This is a second right. And now he's back against the ropes trying to dance his way out of trouble. Mayweather looking to choose his spot. Bombs his head out of trouble there. And now blood dripping from the right nostril of Ayala. Ayala trying to fend off the attack by Mayweather with that left jab. Mayweather again a left connects. And now more blood coming from Ayala who misses a wild left hook and gets tagged by a right hand from Mayweather. Another right hand by Mayweather. Ayala responds, but he's in trouble in the corner. Mayweather doing a good job with that head movement. Hasn't been touched. A big right there, and Mayweather connecting. Again in the corner, Mayweather going to work on Ayala, who's in big trouble. Trying to fend off Mayweather again with that left jab, but not having much luck. Another big left by Mayweather, who says, come on, let's fight. And now Mayweather with a smile. He's in control of things. Left there going to the body. Left jab there connects on the nose, which continues to bleed. Edgar Ayala in trouble here in the opening round of the scheduled four-round super featherweight match. Left to the face, left to the body. Good work by Mayweather, who stays disciplined, connects with the right. Staying disciplined by going upstairs and downstairs. First round coming to an end. Of Edgar Ayala. Round two underway. There you see the sneaky left jab there of Mayweather that sent Ayala to the ground. And now Mayweather on the attack right to the body there from Ayala. Mayweather doesn't react. Pretty boy living up to his nickname sneaks in another left. 
doing a good job there defensively, bobbing away from any punch thrown by Ayala. Lloyd Mayweather stalking Edgar Ayala. He's got him in the corner, not the place Ayala wants to be right now. Left to the body, left to the head, really didn't hit square, and Ayala is to get away. And there's another left that connects by Mayweather. Again, misses, and Mayweather answers with a smile. Well, this is a, a chance right now for Mayweather to work on some of his technique. Because he really hasn't been challenged in this fight. Big left by Mayweather, and down goes Ayala. And referee Chuck Haslett's going to put an end to this one in the second round of former Olympian Floyd Mayweather who knocks out Ayala 130 into round, uh, 139 I should say, into round two. Just a left hand there that nailed Ayala. And there you see Floyd Pretty Boy Mayweather Pretty happy with his night's work. A week to the cameras, and Floyd Mayweather sees his record improve to 4 0. Edgar Ayala, an unhappy professional debut. El vencedor por knockout en un minuto 39 segundos del segundo asalto. The winner by a knockout in one minute 39 seconds of the second round. Pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather, they'll pay money. Some of them will want to see me get beat. Some of them will want to see me win. All right, Floyd Mayweather taking on Kino Rodriguez as we look at the statistical breakdown between the two. And as you can see, there's a big age difference between the two, 13 years difference. A two-inch height advantage for Floyd Mayweather, two pounds in reach, three pounds in, or two pounds in weight, three inches in reach, all for Floyd Mayweather. Let's get the rest of the numbers now from ring announcer Mark Vero. Mark, if you will. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for six rounds in the super featherweight division. Your referee, once again, is Frank Garza. Introducing the principals first in the blue corner to my left, wearing the all-white trunks, weighing in at 130 pounds, professional record, nine victories, nine defeats, two draws, two wins by way of knockout, Ladies and gentlemen, he hails from Centerton, Arkansas. Here is Kino Rodriguez. Rodriguez. His opponent in the red corner, wearing the white trunks, black trim, weighing 132 pounds. He is undefeated in four professional bouts, three wins by way of knockout. Another favorite son from Grand Rapids, now making his home in Las Vegas, Nevada. He is a bronze medal winner in the 1996 Olympics, the first American to defeat a Cuban in the Boxing Olympics. Here is Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather, six rounds, super featherweights. Okay, guys, we already went over the rules in the back. Anything on the trunk's going to be considered low. Anything on his trunk's going to be considered low. Gentlemen, six rounds. Good luck. All right. Kino Rodriguez now will try to take the big step up against the kid who has such a marvelous amateur career and is off to a 
This magnificent start as a professional. There's Floyd Mayweather across the ring. That's what Kino Rodriguez is looking at. And here we go in round number one. Both fighters in the white trunks. See, Floyd's trying to establish that, that left jab runs in the family. And he's trying to be explosive early in this fight. And his opponent will come right at him and shoot whatever he's got. That was not a knockdown. Kino Rodriguez, a veteran of 20 bouts, fought most of his early fights at the country club in Reseda, California. A lot of fighters have gotten their start. Good jab by Mayweather. He's very, very quick. That got in light years ahead of the defense put up by Rodriguez. Two jabs. Rodriguez wasn't even close in terms of speed of stopping it. I think I got a new name for Floyd. It's just attitude. He's got a lot of attitude in there. Attitude with his punches. Attitude with his style in there. A couple of good left hooks by Mayweather, but Rodriguez took them very well. Jeff, Jeff said yesterday that, that Floyd has the best left hook in the family. Nobody else has a left hook. He said otherwise, Floyd's a bit of everybody. Got the elusiveness from Jeff. The jab from Roger. He's a tremendous fighter. Oh, that left hook to the body put Rodriguez down. Left hook to the body, and Rodriguez is hurt, gasping for air. Oh, well. I think he, that's is it. he going to make it up? Oh, man. Jumps to his feet. A pair of terrific And that shots. is it. And Floyd Mayweather let Pino Rodriguez know who the winner was. Got right in his face. Got a little dance for the fans as well. He jammed, he showed his boxing style upstairs and then an explosive ending downstairs with a couple of hooks. Tremendous shots. Well, the speed on yeah. those shots. And that's it. You know, boxing is a sport of quickness. That's where so much of it in terms of success lies. And this kid has got speed. And he has got plenty of punching power as well. The one, the one thing I didn't like is when he... Here we go. He comes and tries to set that left hook. He saw the opening, took the left hook, and went for it. That's, that's well-schooled, Rich. You know what to do. You take what your opponent gives you. It was the left hook to the body, I think, that did him in. Yeah. He set him up pretty nicely because... As Rodriguez was coming in, he was starting to bring his hands up to guard his face. Floyd was good enough to go to the body. Good left hook to the body, to the ribs, did the damage. Sets him up, works that body. See, Rodriguez felt that earlier left hook right on the ribs. You know, a lot of kids this young do not punch much to the body, Tony. And it's a he long has card. no problem doing it. Floyd, attitude, Mayweather. Well, he can dance, he can punch. <laughs> He's got good balance. <laughs> he can talk, and there's a lot of people who think that he can do it all in that ring. If you can talk the talk and walk the walk, I guess it ain't bragging. All right, we're going to get the official word now on the time of this one-round KO for Floyd Mayweather from Mark Vera. Ladies and gentlemen, the time, one minute, 44 seconds of the first round. The winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather. Be Floyd. Yeah, but I mean, I don't mean the proper mental approach. I'm just speaking of the way that Sometimes, you know, you have to be a sportsman. You want to set an example. I don't think all guys look to set that example. And I think Floyd should probably look to set more of an example some because he is a good fighter and many kids will want to be like Floyd. All right, and there's a look at the opponent, Bobby Giefert. Second fight in 29 months. 19 wins, 8 losses, and for most of those 29 months, Giefert's been doing a lot more electrical work than training or fighting. Roy Jones fought him as an amateur years ago, and we'll hear more about that in a few minutes. The opponent, Floyd Mayweather, Grand Rapids, Michigan, nephew of 
two continuing active professional fighters, Roger Mayweather and Jeff Mayweather, and his record so far is 5 and 0 with four KOs. 1996 Olympic bronze medalist and the first American boxer to defeat a Cuban in the Olympics since Leon Spinks knocked out Sixto Soria back in 1976. Tail of the tape for Floyd Mayweather and Bobby Giepert. And you can see the one pound weight advantage for Giepert, the four inch reach advantage for Mayweather. Eight years difference in age. The rules are the same as those for the last bout. Three knockdown rule in effect. Saved by the bell in the last round only. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the introductions. And now, ladies and gentlemen, top rank and Budweiser present a special six round bout. This is in the junior lightweight division. The three judges scoring this contest will be Carol Castellano, Cynthia Ross, and Lou Tabbitt. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Joe Cortez. Hey. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black, and weighing in at 133 pounds. From Terrytown, Louisiana, he brings a record of 19 victories, eight defeats, five KOs to his credit. Ladies and gentlemen, he is Bobby Giepert. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trimmed with black, weighing 132 pounds. He captured Olympic bronze in 1996, and now as a professional, his record is 5-0 with four KOs. He comes to us originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan, but now living and fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Oh. Hey. All right. This ain't gonna count. Tim Chagin All right. All right, Roger. Come here. All right, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times, all right? Shake hands, good luck to both. Floyd Mayweather's father, Floyd Sr., just out of prison about 10 days ago, is now in a halfway house back in Grand Rapids, I believe. Had been imprisoned on a cocaine-related rap. Floyd Jr. in frequent contact with him while he was in prison. Talked to him about fights. And he'll be joining his camp as soon as a six weeks intermediate period is done. How long ago did you fight Bobby Giepert, Roy? Back when I was 13 years old. So that would be 14 years ago? Yep, exactly. What do you remember about him? That he was left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? He hasn't changed. <laughs> Still a southpaw. Giefert said to us yesterday that he wanted to go to Floyd Mayweather's body. He thinks that's the vulnerability of all superstar young fighters, is that they probably haven't been tested to the ribcage yet. That's his plan. And the vulnerability of guys who haven't fought much is that they were in the, er, in the later rounds. This one's scheduled for oh. six. Down goes Giefert. Quick, straight, Four. right hand punch. Five. Seems to Six, be aware of what's going on. Seven, Does he want to get up? Yeah, he wants to get up. Right. But he shouldn't last much longer now. I don't think he's ever been caught with a punch like that as, since being professional. A little blood trickling from the left nostril of Bobby Giepert as Mayweather looks for another opportunity to land the right hand. Bangs a left to the body. Giepert now fiddling with the nose as he tries to get the blood flow to stop. And Mayweather comes back with rights, and Giefer will go down, and That's it. Joe Cortez says that'll do. One minute, 28 seconds of the first round, or about a minute and a half of the first round, something like that. And Floyd Mayweather has yet another quick KO victory. All right, stay on your side. Stay on your side. Stay on your side. Giefer is hurt. He's hurt Bleeding. bad. He got caught with some very sharp punches by Floyd Mayweather. Finding out that you can't be a part-time fighter. No way possible. He is an apprentice electrician in Gretna, across the river from New Orleans. To borrow a bad pun from James Brown during our rehearsal, do you think this shocked the electrician, Giepert? Yes, it did. That was the first knockdown. A quick, straight, 
lead right hand. You can see that Mayweather has terrific tools. Uh, and it's going to be interesting watching him mature. He's a lightweight now, could grow into a welterweight. This young man has some ability, and he comes from a fighting tradition. That left to the ear started the end of that. Giepert is now sitting on a stool as we watch this rerun. Probably not a great choice for Bobby Giepert to come back to boxing after near retirement. Got $3,000 for this. And he can use it. That part is good. Let's go up to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joe Cortez calls a halt to the bout at one minute and 30 seconds of the very first round. The winner by knockout victory, his record now six and oh, five KOs. He is the pride of the fighting Mayweather's pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather. Well, JB, he electrocuted him with right hands. An explosive young fighter that has captured plenty of boxing fans here early on in his career. What they like about him is his speed, his skills, and of course, the personality inside of the ring. Special fight introductions. En la esquina roja con pantalón blanco y azul, con 12 victorias, 15 perdidas, un empate, 8 de sus victorias por knockout. In the ring we have junior lightweights, 6 rounds. In the red corner with a professional record of 12 wins, 15 losses, 1 draw, 8 of his wins by knockout. Pesando 133 libras, at 133 pounds, the Denver, Colorado, Tony Duran. En la esquina azul, con pantalón blanco, con negro, invicto en seis peleas profesionales, cinco de sus victorias por knockout. En la blue corner, he's undefeated in six professional bouts, five of his wins by knockout, pesando 129 y media libras, at 129 and a half pounds, the Grand Rapids, Michigan, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, bronze medalist in the 1996 Olympic Games, from the fighting Mayweather clan, he is Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather. Okay, just check the dressing room. Any questions from the blue corner? Any questions from the red corner? You may claim fight, Jeff. Well, we are going to the ring and battle Floyd Mayweather. And that young man, Floyd Mayweather, is one exciting fighter to watch. Emmanuel Stewart was quoted as saying, there have been very few who have been more talented than this kid. He'll probably win two or three world championships. I think he'll go on to be one of the best ever. Well, tonight, you're getting a chance to get a glimpse of perhaps one of the best ever. You can see here that Mayweather does have the height advantage over Duran, and Duran coming in with that much smaller style in terms of height. He is crouching down, but Mayweather just feeling him out. Of course, the Mayweather family is one that is well known throughout the boxing world. Floyd's two uncles are Jeff and Roger, both former world championship, world champions, and they are also his trainers. Oh, and down goes Duran with a sharp right turned in by Mayweather, and Duran is extremely dazed. Toby Gibson putting the count on Tony Duran. And this one... Tony Duran continuing to plead his case, saying that he's okay, playing a bit of possum there. Well, it did not work out because 
just suffered a defeat at the hands of Floyd Mayweather. Perhaps the quickest fight in Floyd's career. This one, I'll be shocked if it lasted longer than a minute. Fight lasted a total of one minute and 12 seconds. And the thing about Floyd that is so impressive, and you rarely see this in fighters who have such speed, is that he possesses power as well. And when you have a fighter who has the speed complemented by power, then what you have is a fighter with the makings of a championship belt for him, possibly. Toby Gibson para la pelea. El vencedor por noca técnico en un minuto 12 segundos del primer asalto. Referee Toby Gibson stopped the bout. The winner by a technical knockout in one minute 12 seconds of round number two. Pretty boy Floyd Mayweather. One has been able to produce in many pressure situations up to this point. Grand Rapids, Michigan. The thing I like about Mayweather, looking at him in the early moments here, is the way he plants his feet. He has excellent leverage. Yes, he does. The other thing, too, is that the Mayweather, he carries that trademark, Mayweather right hand. He can put you out. There's a jab by Mayweather. Gets it started here. Showing some respect. For the track record of Larry O'Shields, who's 12, 3, and 1, so 16 pro fights for Shields, knows a lot more than Mayweather's previous opponents. I think we just saw that right moments ago. <laughs> That's true. One thing, too, Mayweather has a beautiful jab, and he uses it to set him up with the right hand. If there's any question about his right hand, it's going to be answered tonight, because one thing, he can throw. He's been a very fast offensive starter in all of his fights. Mayweather's had one four-round decision, four one-round knockouts, and two two-round knockouts in his career. But you get the feel this has a different atmosphere to it, as though he expects a bit of a distance here. Guy coming in with more experience. Mayweather not knocking him out with the first couple shots. One thing for sure, Shields uh, certainly isn't shying away from him in this opening round right here. He has applied some pressure. So, the quietest first round in the young career of Floyd Mayweather will come to a close. between Floyd Mayweather in the white trunks and Larry O'Shields in the black. Super featherweights set for six. The thing for uh, Larry to do is just keep Mayweather as much as he can outside with his jab. He's using it quite, quite well. He, the one thing he wants not to do is walk right into uh, Mayweather's right hand. So he's going to have to give more lateral movement. In the meantime, he's walking into his left jab. And Shields is not jabbing enough himself, which is basically what the styles would suggest he truly needs to do. Oh, 
You sense it's just a matter of time in this fight right here, and at what point he's going to destroy O'Shields' will. Up against a veteran, though, so O'Shields has more to offer. We'll see how long he goes in. You saw the graphic between rounds of Roger Mayweather and Jeff Mayweather in the corner of Floyd. They did something very few families could do back in February. Actually, in March, they fought on the same card together, all three. Little homecoming in Grand Rapids. Fun time for them. Floyd considered the star of the family and justifying it here. Good shots. Yeah, Mayweather still picking it up right here. Good shots on the outside. Fires a shot as he's looking in with the head. Almost, if you didn't know him, you'd think it was showboating, but crowd may start to think so. Is Mayweather bleeding from the lip? Not to say it looked like it for a second. There is blood. Lower lip. Mayweather unloads the right hand. One thing you gotta give Mayweather, he is a showman. He was like that in the Olympic Games, and uh, he's showing that tonight as well. Man, O'Shea saw that cut, and he moved in on him. Now he's backing off. Well, the showboating characteristics a big part of Mayweather's persona. As you well know, Paul, such a game of confidence and bravado. And the first thing you have to do to convince others that you're indestructible is to convince yourself. And Mayweather certainly has that. <laughs> That's for sure. O'Shields has been plotting and methodical to this point. A style that will not serve him well against the faster Mayweather. He does need to open it up and take a few chances. For so the first two rounds, you see Mayweather really starting to loosen up. Mayweather on the outside, showing the ability to control from out there, and it's a big shot that Shields took a right hand as Mayweather was falling away. Absolutely. Well, Shields is showing some good boxing skills, but at this point, I think it's going to be a question of stamina. He's going to have to be in great physical condition to uh, last long in this fight with all the punishment he's taken. The start of round three. Floyd Mayweather of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Larry O'Shields of Houston, Texas. Mayweather coming in 7-0, six knockouts. Only one bout has gone a four-round distance. And O'Shields designed as an opponent to bring out a little more in him. O'Shields, 12-3-1, five knockouts. Coming off six straight bouts without a loss. One draw thrown in there, three straight six round wins. So O'Shields coming in with momentum, has the winning mentality. And so would on paper be a much tougher test for Mayweather than the others. But Mayweather's starting to solve him, it seems. Yeah, he has a lot more weapons. Uh, that's for sure watching this fight here. Both his right and left are devastating, and uh, O'Shields, I don't think, has really landed one good, solid shot. And, Paul, it's true that O'Shields has had more fights, but Mayweather has been in more pressure situations when you consider the Olympics. Yes, he has. You know, with a bigger crowd in the Olympic Games, the crowd here is not affecting him at all. It might be affecting Shields, but the thing about it is Mayweather, like I said, he's a showman. He loves this type of performance. And Mayweather's only 20 years of age, yet he performs as if he's been around four or five years. And they learned so much in that Mayweather family. He's around very good seasoned pros from the time he laced up gloves. And there's a lot of poise you see in those situations because of that. A bit of a swagger. The idea of knowing you've been in with quality people in the gym. 
all that translates in as Floyd Mayweather tries to blossom in his young career. Mayweather fires a left hook, but back straight up. Good chance for Shields there. Great double, left. Double left hook by Mayweather. Shields is moving straight back, Paul, and that's not where you want to go. Exactly. He doesn't want to do that because Mayweather can come forward with a right hand. Now Mayweather switched over to softball, I guess, trying to confuse him. Thing about it, he should stick to his own fight plan, which is staying orthodox, keep the pressure on, on, on Osir, and, and just just put the combinations together. And that is exactly what he did. He did go back from southpaw. But look, he was just trying to show that a little bit. He's going awfully confident right now. And I believe he senses that O'Shields can't hurt him. We may see him tap dancing and selling tickets in round four. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather getting some good shots in. O'Shields is there to be competitive and could stun Mayweather if Mayweather is careless. But O'Shields has not made him pay for too much yet. Floyd Mayweather and Larry O'Shields. Mayweather, the Olympian for the 1996 Games out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Coming in at 7-0 with six knockouts. O'Shields from Houston, Texas. 12-3-1 with five knockouts. And finding out Mayweather's pretty talented thus far. Absolutely. The one thing that's really hurting O'Shields in this fight is the fact he's not a very good counter-punching. When Mayweather unloads with his fury, he backs off before O'Shields can react. If he had a bit of a counter-punch, this would be a more effective performance by him. It's a good point. You make the guy miss, you do have to make him pay, and he's been a little slow to make Mayweather pay. And Mayweather has the angles after he misses to be just far enough out of reach to do that. So Mayweather, two left hooks, one to the body, one to the head. Well, Shields is very slow getting off. Which allows Paul Mayweather to make some mistakes and not have to pay the price if your opponent is slow. Exactly, but then again, you don't want your opponent sneaking anything in on you. What Mayweather is starting to do now, he's starting to walk his opponent down. He's starting to walk Shields down. And by doing that, you're going to see him throwing a lot more combinations than he just saw right now. Here it comes. Left hook by Mayweather. It was a looping shot. Left hook from out deep. Firing from perhaps a little further away than his corner would like. Because he's not able to turn into that hook. He needs to be a little closer. But he certainly does have the pop and the explosion when you look at his technique. Paul, do you think Mayweather is using a little bit too much of the ring at times tonight? At times, yes, but it's you working for his advantage. The thing about it is as he's moving side to side, he's also catching the chain coming in. And by doing that, he's able to catch him with different combinations like a left hook and right hand. And Mayweather landing some punches here from defense to offense. Fired essentially what would almost be a right hook from a right hand stance, which you can't do. He squares up. And that's some good athleticism there by Floyd Mayweather. It has nothing to do with boxing in a sense. It's just a good athletic instinct. He turned and got some shots in. He's got the foot speed. He's got the quickness. He's got the combinations. He has a wide arsenal. 
And all Shields is seeing every bit of it in this round. That was a great three-punch combination from Mayweather moments ago after O'Shields missed. So it becomes more and more the Floyd Mayweather show as this one finishes up round four. Start round five, scheduled for six super featherweights, Floyd Mayweather and Larry O'Shields. Mayweather off to a very fast start as the referee does some maintenance in the corner. I'm Dave Bontempo along with Art Mack and Paul Gonzalez. Veg you with us from the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. And what is billed as Oscar night at the Alamo Dome, Oscar De La Hoya. We'll be fighting David Kamau a little bit later on, and still to come, Gennaro Hernandez, Anatoly Alexandra. Here, Floyd Mayweather has really pulled away in rounds two, three, and four, and showed a lot of those sweet skills that were advertised. And he's just waiting for Old Shields to make a mistake right here before he comes in with that left hook. Well, O'Shields has been fairly predictable, coming straight ahead. He's been a plotter, a worker, and has given an honest effort. But Mayweather's speed, his sense of lateral movement, and his timing have been too much. Plus, Mayweather's a showman in the ring, isn't he? Well, something that you always welcome if it's done the right way in boxing. You could use a few more personalities, a lot more flash. Somebody for people to get behind. And Mayweather is a delightfully refreshing, confident person to talk to. Combinations that I like that, that, that Floyd is throwing is he's going downstairs to the body and coming straight up with a right uppercut and coming back with a left hook right hand. Everything emptied here by Mayweather, but he's slapping with some of these shots here. Wide shots, but as he squared up, he slapped, and they did not have the power. As we get into the second half of round five. Shields trying to dig almost nothing on his punches to this point. That was the first legitimate shot he's landed in a couple of rounds. And he pushed it out there. This fight is growing very one-sided. Mayweather has really found his groove. And Shields has slowed down. Coming straight out and... Basically giving Mayweather the stylistic tools to pick him apart. Mayweather smiling, there goes the tongue out. That's not good. Not good at all, especially Shields. Mayweather figures he, he can't hurt me, so I'm just going to box him. That is one thing about Mayweather is it does seem at times not to know the line between what is showmanship and showboating. Yes, and needs to learn it. Final seconds of the fifth round. Mayweather coming up the middle, firing shots from a squared up stance. O'Shields taking it from every direction. O'Shields is becoming a very sloppy fighter right here. He's taking a very methodical beating as round five draws to a close. Get 
effort now in favor of Mayweather, especially over the last four rounds. Mayweather coming in at 7-0 with six knockouts. And O'Shields, who came in with a winning streak of three and has not lost at six, finds that to be in extreme jeopardy. He would need a knockout, but he only has five in 16 bouts, and this is not his type of venue for that. But there's no question Mayweather wants to finish strong, and he is. Well, he's doing the showboating thing here, moving on the angles. Showing some hand speed, but not really loading up on his shot. No, no, what we were talking about his balance with his feet earlier in the fight. He's not doing that at all right here. That's where the cockiness comes in. Also, as you indicated earlier, that he's slapping his punches and not really landing, turning them over. Paul, it's like a guy that wants to dance rather than to fight at times. Have to show off some of that speed. And as he starts moving up the ladder, it could hurt him someday. So Shields making the most of it that he can here. Got to fight in close quarters. It doesn't seem like it's uh, Mayweather's night tonight. Well, it's just an off night for him. The Mayweather has gone to the sixth round for the first time. But we talked earlier as he explodes here. He could go down here. About some of the slapping and some of the inconsistency. The thing about Mayweather probably going six rounds, he probably was thinking to himself, I need to pace myself. I need to pace myself. I don't want to get tired. Also, yeah, but there you see the tongue come out again. Sign of a guy not really focused on what he needs to be focused on. No, you don't do that at close range, do you? You don't, you don't do it at any range. But if he could take all that energy and harness it and stay riveted on his objective throughout the fight, Mayweather can come along a lot, but you see a lot of slapping here. That will not get the knockout for him. Absolutely not. The thing about it is, like as you indicated, he needs to stay focused on his game plan. And he but hasn't done that. Nonetheless, Floyd Mayweather will very easily go to 8-0 as O'Shields just could not get any attack sustained against him. Crowd showing some disapproval. They didn't get the knockout. In fact, it hasn't been a night of knockouts. Fights going the distance. And Larry Shields came in with a winning streak, but didn't really show us why. It's true. He didn't show much at all in this fight. We have to keep in mind Mayweather's only 20 years of age, so uh, he has some growing up to do. Not only that, you got to also take into account that Shields probably never fought under such success. The unanimous winner, still undefeated, pretty boy Floyd Mayweather Jr. So Floyd Mayweather improving to 8-0, and, and we'll have a lot to look back on and learn from this fight. He had some moments where things came together and other moments where he looked not consistent and surely his people will pick up on that. As you say, he's only 20 years old. A lot of time 